This presentation will inform you about the registration process. In addition to the paper course request forms, students will enter course requests through the Q portal. Ask your counselor if you have any questions. From the TOHS webpage, navigate to the Q connection on the right hand side. This will take you to the Q student portal connection for you to click on. Once you are on this main page, you will have to enter your student ID number as well as your password to log in. This will take you to your main Q page to enter course requests. Once you are logged in, you can access your Q student portal menu. On the left hand side, click on the request link in order to start adding courses. You can add, edit, or delete requests as needed. All of the classes available to you are listed here. You will add courses until you have at least seven. Please make sure to add extra electives in your portal. You should already have your paper course request forms. You can begin filling these out. You will return the paper course request forms to your English teacher. The online registration window is open starting February 1st. The request link in your Q portal will be active on this date. No changes can be made to your portal after your individual meeting with your counselor. We will now look at credits and graduation requirements. Here are the high school graduation requirements. As you can see, you need 230 credits plus the passing of Algebra 1 in order to graduate. By this semester, Current ninth graders should have at least 30 credits. Current 10th graders should have at least 90 credits. And current 11th graders should have at least 150 credits. When choosing your courses, be mindful that anything less is considered a credit deficiency and you may have to choose additional courses. You will work with your counselor and discuss a plan of how to make up any missed credits. These are the requirements for the UC, University of California, and CSU, Cal State University College Systems. You can see that there are greater requirements than just meeting the general high school graduation requirements. We will now look at the course request form. This form must be signed and approved by your parents. In addition to completing the online course request, you must return this form to your English teacher by the scheduled due date. Here is an example of a course request form. At the top of the form, please remember to include a phone number and email. You will then go through the form and choose your individual classes. 12th graders are required to have at least five classes. 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students are required to have at least six classes. You must have your parent sign this form and return it to your teacher on the due date. This form will be turned in in addition to your individual meeting with your counselor. The back of the course request form has all of the electives that are offered to you per individual grade level. Be aware of any prerequisites on classes that you are choosing. And don't forget to put extra electives on the front of your form. This will help us to ensure that you are getting a class that you wanted. For future 12th grade students only, Thousand Oaks High School will be offering CSU Expository Reading and Writing course or the ERWC next school year. This is a course designed for the high achieving college prep student who nearly meets the college level writing requirements for the CSU and UC English courses. Passing the ERWC with a grade of C- or better eliminates the need for remedial college English. We want you to feel like you can challenge yourself and try different classes, such as moving from college prep to honors or honors to AP. There are many AP and honors courses that can help prepare you for the rigors of college. Taking the AP exams after completing an AP class can benefit you. You can earn college credit. Fill out the waiver for consideration to move into these classes. The academic waiver can be found on our counseling webpage. Scroll across the tabs at the top until you reach Registration 2223. 
a drop down will pop out that says Academic Waiver. Please click on this to find out more information about the process. From there, please click here to fill out the document. You must fill out one waiver for every class that you are trying to get into. THS has redesigned our CTE courses into nine innovative career pathways that will provide you with industry-based experiences to help guide you as you plan your future. If you are looking for a way to build on your creative spirit and enjoy working with your hands, then the Career Education Department is the place for you. Our pathways include computer programming, architecture, patient care, construction technology, and manufacturing. We offer our students the opportunity to earn professional certificates such as OSHA 10-Day Safety Card or Adobe Associate Certificate. The website is divided into these nine different pathways that you can click on to do more research. Informative guest speakers, participation in industry skill competitions, working with inspiring mentors, field trips, and so much more. Please visit this website to learn more information. You will sign up for summer school with your counselor in the spring. We also have remediation at Thousand Oaks High School during the school year through a cyber high program. Have a plan to remediate credits so that you can graduate on time. Get Ahead Summer School is through the Conejo Schools Foundation and you can sign up directly through them at conejoschools.org. Here are the current registration dates for your reference. Please note that the paper course request forms are due back to your English teachers before the registration dates begin. For current 11th grade students, it's February 7th. For current 10th grade students, it's February 22nd. And for current 9th grade students, it is March 7th. On your scheduled registration date, proceed to the MPR to check in with your English teacher. From there, you will be called to meet individually with your counselor. A quiet assignment will be given while students wait to meet with their counselor for registration. In preparation for meeting with your counselor, please write down any questions you might have. You can also email your counselor or see them before school, at lunch, or after school for brief questions. This video will also be posted on our counseling webpage for additional viewings. Please check out our counseling website and thank you to the English department.